First, we will do the amalgam restoration and the three keys that includes occlusal contour, proximal contours and contact, and marginal adaptation. On the occlusal contour, you want to visualize the anatomy, the occlusal contact, and the surface finish before you even start. You want to visualize the task at hand. Look and visualize the occlusion, the anatomy that you're going to be put on, the restoration before you even start. Now, after the amalgam preparation, you are ready to restore the amalgam prep. A very critical step would be the adaptation of the matrix band. This will help in the contour of the embrasure, the proximal contact to the next tooth, and being able to contour the occlusion at the marginal ridge area. The wedge will help secure the gingival portion of the matrix band. And from here, you are ready now to condense amalgam. Very important technique would be start in the box form and being able to adapt the material into the gingival margins and also the occlusal uh, margins of the prep. We'll go ahead and speed this up so that we can get into the portion of the demonstration to do the occlusal anatomy and the proximal contour and gingival adaptation. But very critical after the condensation of the amalgam is being able to burnish the amalgam material towards the margins of the prep. At this point also, you are on your way to condensing the amalgam without voids. You are pushing the amalgam towards the margins, smoothing out the amalgam preparation uh, in order to restore the tooth anatomy. Being able to put in the central grooves, primary grooves as you are condensing and burnishing you're able to go ahead and do the occlusal contour at the same time, keeping in mind the proximal contour and the contacts and making sure the marginal adaptation on the occlusion is without void and smooth and being able to go ahead and condense and contour the amalgam material. After condensing and carving the amalgam material, now you are ready to carve the excess amalgam beyond the margin. You want to make sure that you are removing all excess and flash from the marginal area, carving in the grooves centered buckle and lingually. being able to develop the embrasures using the Explorer. Embrasures are symmetrical with the adjacent teeth. Now, once the matrix band is removed, we can work on the marginal ridge equal in height to the adjacent ridge, the adjacent tooth, being able to carve that and to continue to create the occlusal anatomy using the tooth structure and adjacent teeth. Removing the excess flash, excess amalgam from the gingival embrasure using the explorer on the buccal surface and also on the lingual surface. Continue to check your restoration for excess amalgam and checking the height and checking the embrasures and visualizing the occlusal anatomy.